The Billings Airport is suffering at the bottom of a trickle-down effect. Fewer pilots means fewer flights, not for major cities, but for smaller destinations like the Magic City. And fewer flights means fuller flights, and often a much bigger hit to your wallet. Last night he had one seat left, and this guy paid $1,600 one way to take that seat. I went, that's expensive. Seats are in high demand on planes going in and out of Billings. Airport Aviation Director Kevin Plone says the major carriers have cut billing service sometimes more than in half. And it could be worse. I was complaining a little bit to one of them and they uh, basically said, well, some places we're telling them they only get one flight. So, you know, take the two. There's a lot more flight times going in and out of Bozeman as well. Justin Garrison travels to Montana from Denver a lot for work. His company looks at both Billings and Bozeman, but it's hard for the former to compete. Because a lot of it's based on availability, just when works best schedule-wise. The saving grace, Plone says, is that carriers are starting to send bigger planes, so the total number of passengers won't necessarily go down if seats stay in demand. But the lack of a low-cost airline option is a noticeable gap. Allegiant has cut service to just two destinations, and Frontier Airlines are gone altogether. If we had a low-cost carrier here to compete, I think that would help a lot, but we don't right now. Plone's next hope for drumming up excitement? Billings finally opening its new terminal. We were hoping to open it before Memorial Day. It's still a question mark. It might happen. Okay. Uh, so we'll see. If it's not, it'll be early June. Just how busy it will be is the next question. Casey Conlon, MTN News.